hi guys so here is the next video and in the previous two videos we dealt with creating message box and uh, we dealt with uh, working with ASCII and uh, Unicode but we never really built a full-fledged uh, not even full-fledged like a full um, window application the typical application like your web browser or VLC media player window media player right so we just had a message box and we can't do much with the message box so we have to go to the next level like creating our own window so before we do that let's talk about windows architecture a bit so message box provides very limited functionality that we know of we have to create our own window own title bar menu toolbar scroll bars now the window could also be in the form of a dialog box and it the title bar is there is optional also it is possible that the push button radio buttons check boxes those are also windows what we call child windows the entire concept behind windows programming is when you have your windows program running there on the screen it will receive inputs so those inputs are generated in a very specific way what we call messages and the window program which which will be handling those messages to do something with it so that's the concept behind windows programming you have your screen user interacts with it and you do something with that it's like the pure event driven architecture is it uh, confusing so let's see a demo so now the source code is uh, available over here and uh, I have uh, already got the source code it's in my Visual Studio so let's see a demo so if you run this program like you go to the github repository clone the repository and in the last video I explained how to activate a project so you activate the create a window project and you see the output now see how different it is from a typical message box program right it's remarkable like a lot of difference like if you see the there is a title over there then there is a text box and this is just the beginning just th th think about the possibilities we could like build anything over here like this visual studio program itself or the powerpoint slide anything we can do using win32 api so the possibilities are endless now even though this window program is there but there is a code behind it which creates this and the code initially it can be little intimidating so it's like a I'm telling you beforehand but uh, you will see that with time it will get easy like it's mostly the 80 percent of the code is boilerplate and we would be developing uh, our code towards like the message handling part like once the window is set your windows pop-up boxes everything is set so unless the user does something on the window on the screen you don't have to do anything so we would be handling those events in our code so that's the most of the stuff that would uh, that we would be working on so the initial code is uh, intimidating so I'm telling you beforehand so let's jump into it so here is the code like all these all these is required to create that little window application let's start with the main function so this is the main function in order to create a window we initialize a structure so this is our structure name win class ex so this is our variable our user defined data type we initialize the structure over here this way we specify something with this is a fun function pointer so we specify a win proc so win proc is a function which is over here win proc so we will come back to that so win proc is initialized to a function pointer and then we initialize the other member variables uh, the same way 
and when we are done we call the register class method or register class function here we are actually telling the windows operating system that hey we want to register this structure our window class right now do not get confused it with c++ class and c structure it has nothing to do with c++ class it's we are talking about c structures only the class here means the window basically you know to a computer it's everything is just data and instructions right and computer even doesn't know the difference between data and instructions so for computer everything is data so you're specifying the windows operating system some data that hey take this data and register in your memory once we have the register class done we call the create window method or create window function so here we are actually initially we specified hey this is the size we want for this structure now you allocate that so that's what's happening here create window it allocates the size for our window application now who does that the windows operating system does that so when i talk about windows i talk about windows operating system when i talk about window the singular i'm talking about the window application so it's little confusing but that's the way it is once we call create window function we receive a handler to that now we using that handler we could do stuff like creating child window interacting with them stuff like that then we show the window now the window is created in the memory but it's not there on the screen so we show that and when we show that immediately we have to update it also like assigning some values to that creating the the title the text the close button those stuff so we have to update that the message loop i will come back here in a bit so let's go back and see that while registering the class we attached winproc to a function pointer so that's over here this is guys this is the heart and soul of the window program this is where because window is completely about event handling so this is the part where where we actually handle the events now if you see that we have a hello world text written over there so it's inside this switch case vm paint so what does it even mean like when the first time window is created it's invalidated what we call invalidation invalidation means the window is there but still nothing is happening on that right because the code are working in sequence so it's not like all the code are working simultaneously that's how humans think like they take they take things for granted but the code doesn't work like that code works in sequential order and you have to specify do this and then do this and then do this that way the window is there and there is nothing there to be written on so windows is invalidated and whenever anything is invalidated it has to be painted so that's the vm paint event guys and when vm paint events because this is the primary event handler it can do something like i will explain this part over here this is the main thing actually text out which writes up that hello world okay and then we have other events like vm destroy close button handling stuff like that so we'll have a quick review in our code we define the win class structure and then we initialize the members then we call register class to let the windows operating system know that hey i'm registering this window program with you then immediately we call create window method to allocate memory for that and we call show window we call update window and now the windows is invalidated so the event vm paint event is generated 
from now on look for any event and retrieve them using message loops and win proc takes the charge so now I will go back to the code as I said I would come back to this section so if you see here it's an infinite loop basically when the program is running when any event is generated so this guy over here it gets those events translates that into a specific format like basically extracting these bits VM paint VM destroy and then dispatches them so finally the win proc will handle that and do something with that so that's the windows architecture so the win proc is the heart and soul of the window program nobody talks to it directly only the windows operating system can and that through by generating messages which, which would be placed inside the message queue and then the loop inside the main function that we just saw it gets those messages and then winproc handles those messages accordingly in theory a window could talk to other window but that also it has to do something called send message it has to call that function send message and tell the operating system hey I want to do this so the OS will generate another message and put that into that windows message queue and then that there it would be another handler winproc2 or winproc3 or winproc5 something it would handle that any event that occurs like clicks etc the operating system always sends those messages to winproc and winproc is the one which deals with them so window programming is all about event based anything that happens like dragging the window minimizing the window clicking somewhere so it's all events the console applications do not have this architecture console works what we call keyboard based it could have a little bit like if you see the vi editor in linux it's a very powerful keyboard interface so it knows that you have pressed the escape key and uh, the colon stuff like that so but that also is limiting but in here in windows programming it's like the full fledged event driven architecture it knows the mouse it knows the keyboard it knows the device drivers it knows the graphics display all the things all our events here so uh, <coughs> that's it guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video right and uh, I know this thing this code is a little intimidating to begin with but uh, trust me all our programming would be revolving around this much section only and not only this we would be splitting this code into a separate function we would be calling them we would be dealing with just the win proc mostly and all these other code it would remain the same it would remain remain the same as is so even though this code looks like a lot that's why we call it infamous hello world windows program it has got a bad repo i know that but window if you want to create some application which really you know people uh, they interact with that like all the application that you see like like visual studio for example so even though this is a very good tool to create all the application that exists in the world that runs in windows even though you see that most of the operating system they use windows so all those applications are written this way only so it gets easier and this boilerplate code if you stick it into it and then you just have to deal with this part so that's how the window programming wor works like it's a little bit boilerplate code but uh, it gets easier so uh, I hope you like the video guys and uh, uh, put a thumbs up if you like and subscribe to this video so that you would receive the notification when next video is coming in and uh, I catch you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.